Lexis Barry survived the building collapse in Davenport. Her wife is in the hospital in critical condition tonight. Lexis joins us now. And Lexis, first, I need to ask you, what are the doctors telling you? How is Quenisha doing tonight? Uh, we're basically, we just have to take it day by day. Um, every day is different. Um, she came here, she had to have surgery instantly. Um, they did actually have to amputate her leg at the scene to be able to remove her from the building after being in the building for seven hours. Uh, so every day is just a waiting game. And they've been taking very good care of her. Um, and right now she's just been resting for the past few days until she gets to a level that they can start to make her um, wake her up so that she can start to uh, breathe on her own and, and start the healing process. Wait, did you just say they had to amputate her leg in order to free her from the wreckage? Yes, uh, before the initial search started, it took three hours for them to turn off the gas because apparently there was a gas leak. And then several hours later, about the four hour mark, they uh, ended up finding her and uh, the, the collision had happened about 5 p.m. Uh, she was not rescued and taken to the hospital until 1 a.m. So the two of you were home on Sunday. You had noticed cracks in the walls of your apartment, and then you heard crackling sounds. What happened? Absolutely. Uh, we were sitting there, and all of a sudden I look at the wall, and there's there's a crack, and it's, it's very mild. And then I look, and there's another one about the bathroom that's even bigger. It's about a half an inch long. Um, and then before we know it, we heard this crackling noise coming from the corners of our apartment. And we looked at each other, and we said, something was very wrong. Um, and so we, she grabbed the cat and I grabbed the cat. We went towards the door, didn't have anything, not even shoes. I went to open up the door and I blinked and the floor is just caved in and uh, she fell four stories down. Uh, mind you, it is a six story building. Um, and she fell to the very bottom. Um, there was nothing holding me, but just uh, a plank of wood, the laminate at the door frame itself keeping me up for me to be able to open up the door. Um, it wasn't easy. I had to pry it with barely any room to get out of it. And um, I looked around and there was nothing behind me, around me. It was just this dark and then just light because of everything just kind of open and the sun hit it. Um, so I was very fortunate to be able to get out and instantly went to try to find help so they could be notified that I knew for a fact that she was trapped and did fall. Wait, so how did you get out? You were standing on that plank of, of flooring that you just happened to be lucky enough to stand on because everything else around it gave way. Um, how did you get out? From, how did you get downstairs? I, I had to pry the door open. Um, and mind you, it's six stories, so everything's falling on top of me as well. I crashed down. I dropped my cat. Um, I, I looked around. There was nothing around me. I had to open the door because of the walls that were stuck. Um, and I literally almost fell. I had to grab the uh, the handle to the door and I just cried it. I kept crying, crying, crying. And I squeezed through. I don't even know how I got through because it wasn't that big of space for me to even be able to get through. Um, I have scratches. And, and what, and, where uh, were you um, at that at that point, what were you hearing? What were you seeing? I, uh, once I got out the door, uh, I looked in the hallway and people were kind of poking around a little bit and I just, I started screaming. I was like, Ron, get out of this building. Uh, it's just came again and I just ran, I ran outside. Luckily, um, there was an exit door right next to us. We were the second to last door on this side. Uh, so there was an exit door and I just ran down the stairwell and it's kind of crazy that the same door that I uh, ran out of is the same door that they came in to rescue her just slightly around the corner. And I didn't realize that she was right there. You know that there are reports that two people are still believed to be buried in the rubble. What do you think of plans to demolish this building, even though they haven't yet been found? I think it's um, even though it's the building is very unstable, I don't think that it's also appropriate to demolish without having a hunt. Um, awareness that everyone is out of these people trapped. I feel like they need to try to search harder. Uh, we still have not found our two cats. I've contacted Humane Society. I have people and friends that are trying to help me locate them. Um, and just, it's been nothing but bad news and they haven't located them. And I'm just kind of afraid that they were the cats that are still trapped in the building.
Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.